In Tallahassee today, another push for gun law reforms. Busloads of parents from South Florida among those traveling to the state capitol calling for lawmakers to act. But what can they accomplish in the final weeks of the legislative session? CBS 4's Gary Nelson is in the control room with that side of the story. Gary? Elliot, the quiet community of Parkland, Florida, has played the lead role in the nationwide movement now for strict gun control. The campaign got even louder today in Tallahassee as lawmakers took up what critics consider to be a woefully inadequate gun control package. At least a thousand rallied at a driving rain in Tallahassee, driving home a demand for an end to assault rivals. Among the speakers, students from Stoneman Douglas High. I feel angry. Angry that we let this happen. Angry that we did not solve this problem a long time ago. In the wee hours, parents and students boarded buses or later headed to the airport for the capital. So I'm a mom of three kids. I have three kids in the Parkland schools. And I have to worry about safe schools for the next 12 years. In Tallahassee, speakers said opponents of strong gun control are playing the blame game in the Douglas shooting. All they're trying to do right now is to pivot your attention and our attention away from the common issue of assault weapons as mass killing devices. On CNN, the Republican Speaker of the House vowed a gun control measure will be passed. Make no mistake about it, we'll get it done. Come hell or high water, we'll get it done. But Republicans and the governor are talking about raising the age for buying guns, more mental health resources, and more cops in schools. Not enough, said Democrats Monday, led by South Florida's Oscar Brainin. It shouldn't have gotten to this. It shouldn't have taken four mass shootings in 18 months to begin this debate. The NRA urged the Senate committee to vote down a Democrat-sponsored assault rifle ban. The devil's in the details. Under this definition, I would be hard-pressed to find a firearm it didn't ban. Amid chants of vote them out, mostly young people promised to fight to the finish. My voice and the voice of millions of kids in my generation count today. And at 18, they will be card-carrying voters. Now, just within the hour, the Florida Senate Rules Committee voted down along party lines an amendment that would have banned assault weapons. Here is the announcement of the vote and the angry reaction to it. The amendment is not adopted. We will go to the next amendment. Shouts of shame, shame, and vote them out coming from a committee chamber filled with hundreds of students and parents, most of them from South Florida. The young people leading the anti-assault rifle movement are organizing to target lawmakers in their re-election bids now who opposed banning the weapons and who get high grades from the NRA. In the control room, Gary Nelson, CBS 4 News. Gary, thank you for that. Now new at 6, the Florida House is expected to...